And away we go. And we're at the dork table. Me and Vinny. A little, a little late. Yeah, but I'm still Flash. I'm just slowing down in my old age. I I had a I had a problem with the what do you call it? The system. The system decided to take a shit on me today. And I had to get Grimner to come bail me out. And what he ended up having to do is reload the whole wire thing. Something got corrupted in it. Ground control, the big papa. Yeah, but hey, I I can identify the problem, but that's as far as I can go. So I I don't feel very successful with the computer still. But at least I know what's going on to a point. Anyway, this is Flash at the dork table on the... the 10th of August, 2019, and I got Vinny. And Graham Z said she wanted to pop in for a bit if we made it to the uh, made it to the air. Let me let her know we're, we're on. Come in, Grammy. Grammy, come in. So you want to say up. Oh, thank you so much, Grimner. And you want to say hi to the bots and bodies this time? Sure, I'll do it. Hey, Barman and Beetle and Cowboy Tech and Grimner, our very own Big Papa. And the Mighty Moose Girl, DC, back brackets. I think he pulled a muscle or something. Anti and Asmo. She also don't eat. Graham Z, where? Come in, Graham Z, where are you? Ivy Nancy, the same back brackets. Java Doctor 2, Judge Dredd and Meister Brow, the Mighty Wood Man. Woody himself. <laughs> Under Gander, I beat. Kate and Rob Work. Sin Romes and Vanna White, our very own. Lovely bot, uh, Vinny, be me, Weather Dork, the Prince, and Phantom Circle. She's out swimming in the garden, I think. Cyber no, she's she's sitting right here playing a game on her computer. Well, tell her go get the jump. She, jump in. Yeah, she was threatening to, and then I before I went live, we had a big flood back there, so she's all excited. We got this big swimming pool now. Newly goodness. Yep. In Civ, and there you are, flash somebody somewhere. Hello. And who? And Gromit and the JJ's, our own very own personal Scotsman. Mm. A kiss. Kiss. Kiss of death. Uh. Uh, pawn sauce and sock puppet. Smart as what? Fired up, he said. Wow. Hey, I tried to. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, uh, you, know, you know what a Mexican wears under his kilt? Uh, no. no, I don't want to tell you the punchline to that joke. It's bad. But continue well, saying hello. I did. That's I stopped myself. Video. That's a really bad joke. How are we going to call Grams into this call? Uh, Well, I hang up and do the RLM one yeah. like we always do and uh, yeah. call me right back. Or I'll call you on RLM one. There we go. Uh, Where are we at? Then we click and then we go. Uh ringy dingy and we'll be one minute here we had a little delay 15 minute little delay but my wire decided to not part uh, to participate and it says i got two on the call so uh mary should be able to come on and join rlm one and it's got okay. three on the call miss mary Hola. i had to restart my wire because it wasn't letting it I, right. We we are at the we are at the the hands of evil are upon us, Miss Mary. I never push updates, so I think that's why mine's probably still good. The hands of evil. I have spoken. The hands of evil, indeed. <laughs> They're messing What's with. What's hands doing here? Oh no, not that hands of evil. The the hands. Of, oh, H A N D. Oh. Not H A N Z. Did I hear a moose girl? I thought I heard. Yes. I thought I saw the putty tat. I did, I did, I did talk putty tat. <laughs> so we've got a full dork table going wow. today, don't This is we do. We'll we'll be a felony by one. Maybe <laughs> one fifteen. <laughs> well, if any of this if any of this America's dis- disintegrating crap is true. Then yeah, things are bad. Ooh. And hey, guess what? The EU just decided. This what? came out of Brussels on the saw it on the interwebs, so I know it's true that Brussels is backpedaling on 5G. Because 
it's got potential health risks. So, all you know, all the biggity, uppity muck mucks of Europe all dangle their dangles in Brussels, so they don't want you to saturate them where they live. They you want to saturate us. Out. You know what I found out? That Hillary Clinton is not very good at disguises. They have her on videotape as the last visitor to uh, Epstein. you got to be kidding me. You may, are you making a freaking joke about <laughs> Hill Dog? Uh, you know my, my special relationship <laughs> what, I have what, with the Hill Dog. Was, what's her name? From uh, Mary Ann. Mary Ann, Mary Ann. Yeah, I'll bring it back over. Uh, Rome's yeah. knows that woman's name. Rome's are oh, anti because they're they've been talking her up, and I just remember Marianne, and that's as far as I go. I'll just copy yeah. See, it says right here, Rome's Marianne won't be in that. She's already back in California, but he doesn't that's say Marianne who. That's not the same Marianne. The Marianne oh. he's talking about is the lady running. For that's what I. Office. Yeah, that's the Marianne I thought you were talking about. You no, know? It, uh, oh, never money. mind. Okay. Wow, right. welcome to the dork table, Vinny. There it is. There she is. Could we Everybody s- can tell that that is. Oh, did you post it? Yeah, I put the picture. Because, boy, I did something to my computer and it went, hey, no wire for you, dumbass. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, that's... She kind of looks like a guy with a mustache. I mean... Ew. That's that's the hill dog. She's awesome and amazing, don't you know? And if you don't say that three times a month, you might end up dead. It's like well, we word insurance. Would end up dead. But is he really dead, or was he like Tim Levey? Hey, I know what the women want to talk about. That Brian, that Brian, no, what's not Brian Epstein? That Epstein guy, that uh, pedophile dude that they got dead now. He died. I bet that's you want I'm, to talk about him, huh? 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 That's what we've been talking about. Have you? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Yeah, the picture of the last visitor, to Epstein. So. I was, man, I'm so slow on the jokes today. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Do you, what do you know? I I've read so many different ways they wrote this. They wrote it in. Uh, he was found dead. We assume he's dead. He was reported dead. Every possible way that you could write the sentence has been printed, so my mind doesn't know what to make of it. Grams, help, uh, help this boy understand. I'm going to rely on you play. guys. Hold on, Flash. Come on in here, Grammy. And then, what? The girl, you, you know what happened. You was posting it. I seen your post in the comments. <laughs> I know what happened. Uh-oh. Yeah, right. Wow. No, I just know that something Squirrel. smells very, very rotten here. That's what I know. It, I don't know. I know. Am I still there? Oh yeah, that was me. I was oh, okay. muting my thing. You I know. heard a clicky. Yeah, um, I was. I, just, yeah. I looked at that picture and I thought, that just don't look right. And <laughs> and to me, it's um, I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, but man, that that just that looks very hinky to me. Well, and, let me ask it you like. Know, yeah. I'm a suspicious type of individual anyway when it comes to the gooberment. So I'm thinking they're pulling a fast one somehow or another. Let, let me ask it in this form of formatic question. With that kind of money, is it possible to pay off the right people, enough people, that you could uh, you could come out, wheeled out of there on a, in a gurney, appearing to be dead, yet pop up? On your yacht, as uh, Frumpy said, with uh, Kim Lay alive and well. Is it possible? Oh, anything is possible. But I tell you what, one thing that I just saw. Well, I'll just look at it real quick here. Um, This is from Adam Klasfeld over on Twitter. And he said, a second reaction from a former federal prosecutor, yada, yada, blah, 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 blah. (laughs) So the background is an important note after Epstein's quote unquote death no one else will have standing to challenge the search warrant on his house everything will be admissible against any other defendant without possibility of a motion to suppress so there is a big chunk of the cobwebs inside my mind that are going hmm 
so did they fake this shit so that nobody else can go and say, oh, that's inadmissible. That was an improper search warrant and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. And so they can nail more people. Or was he Arkansas? I personally don't think he is uh, pushing up daisies. I don't either. Sounds like consensus. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah, that was faked. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's my guess. Uh, I think the guy was never in jail in the first place. Oh. Probably not. They could have put a fake guy in there and killed him. Well, okay. Well, here's how I see I, this. Oh, right? that that would have been. But they could have switched him out. I I don't know, but I've been seeing pictures of the guy on the internet. Okay. So that could be a picture of somebody else. For all I know, doesn't even look like the guy. So I'm looking for this face. There you go. I'm the wrong guy. But I don't know it. It's possible, right? Like you said in the beginning. Possible, right? Possible. We've been duped before. Look at they pulled the shit with what's his name? Saddam Hussein. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and post this pic that I just ran across on the. Uh... The twit. So, are you pl- people all politically charged? Are you? Are is your pedophile bone happy now? And now you, your pedophile's dead. Do you feel like you've conquered the Wizard of Oz? Is it everything you no. were hoping it would be? No. Oh no. Well, what'd you get out of it? I mean, got to have some satisfaction, or it was a waste of effort for the system to do it the way they did it. You know, I really think that that those leeches that be are are so desperate that they're pulling out all the stops. <laughs> now, whether this is just a um, yeah. controlled opposition kind of thing, or it is, you know, somebody is really out there. You know, they faked his death so that they could hide him away somewhere, so that okay, you know. You are all of this information we are gathering, and we're going to be able to take down all of these other people because of the information that we got from you. And so we're going to give you a nice little dank place to live out the rest of your days. Or they really did kill him. But that picture that I just shared, the one on the left, you really can't tell who in the hell that is on the gurney because the gloves and all the other fun stuff, very little to look at. The one on the right... I know Frumpy said it looks like just normal background, but man, I look real close at that picture and I see a jagged outline around the face. Yeah, you can see the Am one. I just seeing things? It's quite possible. But I don't I don't think that's him. I think they found a wino somewhere. And, oh, uh, yeah. See, that's uh, all I'm saying is it's possible that whoever they have that's dead is not the guy they claim him to be. We've been deceived yeah. before at levels higher than this. So eh, this is small potatoes in the overall scheme. But they want to sweep this thing away as fast as they can and get us onto something else. So they oh, sacrificed yeah. a they sacrificed somebody's name and they put a body to it. Huh? They've done it before. Well, we all knew he had to die one way or another. So. Well, I didn't know. You seem to be up, you know, up on the I me. Didn't, I didn't know. I'm the only one that didn't know then. Then I'm the only fucking idiot that didn't know. So what? You gonna go all free enslaved on me? Come yeah, on, man. I would slap you in the mouth with the Epstein file. Yeah, that sounds That's very exciting. <laughs> that, that sounds like a threat I can live with, my friend. Ooh. How you like me now? <laughs> don't don't make me go get Hank. Moose girl, would you talk to this man, please? What do you want me to talk to him about? Whatever he needs to talk to about. I think he needs to talk to. What do you think? I because I didn't really keep up with the pedophile <laughs> thing being over here in Denmark, right? It, it's it was like America, and it was the only country really posting anything about it was the states. So I stayed out of that whole knowledge thing. And here we are these months down the road, and now they got the ringleader, and he's now suddenly dead. And I just think that they did it that way to move on to the next thing, to get this out of the way and, and ignore it. When it's bigger, bigger than it looks. 
You think that there's a lot of people's names that won't come out now because there's not going to be a trial? I got elixir. Ha, yeah. ha, ha. Yes, I do. Yeah. Like who? All those look well. They're... Like well, they've already um, outed a couple of them, like Prince Andrew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but next, that's not news. Dead. No, come on, the, the royal boinkers. That's obvious. No, let's let's hear some fucking buddy that you'd never expect to hear about. Richardson not the from not the usual governor. suspects. How come about, on. How about him, the governor Who? of New Mexico? I don't know. Richardson. I thought it was a woman. Wait a minute. Did he have a sex change? No, there was the governor of New Mexico and a senator from Maine. There's the list is probably compiled in the hundreds. Yeah, but where's the links? Look them up. I don't want to. I'm afraid. I might get addicted to that (laughs) stuff and become a pervert. (laughs) Then what would Cirque do? Live here out in Denmark with some guy that's all perverted like an American? Oh, the poor woman. Huh? (laughs) Or the garden. Jeez. Well... I don't know. I just had a strange life because I had daughters. So when you have daughters, it makes a man of you know a little bit aware of young girls don't do anything for you. They're not supposed to. So hmm, it's normal to not be noticing little girls, not the other way around. But I notice people that are too attentive. You know, oh, I'm like, sorry. Like I'm, the, like I'm the, reading Twitter and I just saw a John McAfee post. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, will you stop reading while I'm pontificating here, little Missy? Oh, uh, but this is funny. Uh, oh, was, thanks. I was stunned oh, by Epstein's suicide, though probably not as much as Epstein himself. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Yeah, if he in fact is the guy that they put away or put down. Well, I mean, all these things are controlled. You got jail involved. You got government involved. It's all done in secrecy and under lock and key. So you have to trust that you're being told the truth. When have we ever? Come on, Vinny. When have we ever been told the truth? Is what you want to be watching for is the guards on duty, their names, and when they come up dead here pretty soon. Yeah. Or the EMTs. Yeah, the EMTs also. Anybody... First hand involvement there, mm-hmm. their name there. Those are the ones you'll, you'll be looking to see. All right. So yeah. why are why are you guys happy that he's dead instead of in why is, jail why is or? Talking I mean, about that? Oh, we're talking about because, the evidence and how it's manipulated yeah. and how we see it repeated time and time again. Okay. And what makes you so positive that the story you heard about this guy has got any reality to it? I think that's the whole thing called, being called the question right now. Well, because, I mean, you know, we've heard about these things all our lives that happen, these circles of power and the weird shit they do. But where are the fucking grown-up victims of this shit that happens? Where are they? People there should be thousands of them by now, but they're... Everybody, how many does it take to come forth to say before it's okay? Well, there's, I mean, there's the problem, Vinny, is that you got a lot of nothing. You got a big story with no little words to explain anything behind it. So Luke Radowski posted on Twitter, no freaking way, WTH, do you know how many secrets this man had on, to- on the top elites of the world? If there was ever a reason to believe in a conspiracy, it's now. And it's the one I'm curious. I'm, I'm seriously wondering if it's even true. It is. Okay, why? There's too much evidence, Flash. Well, okay, what I consider... Came forward, well, the, the 14-year-old girl that was raped one, came forward. One. One, there, there's a lot other of... people have two. It's not just one person. Okay, and, and I've... And the I've, Lolita I've, Express is not named the Lolita Express for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I but mean, I, I read that... Come on. He was a convicted. People are like, What's Lolita? I don't know what Lolita is. All right, but was this look Epst- it up, please? Was this guy convicted? I've read both stories here. He's he either- wasn't convicted of shit. Oh well, yeah, okay. he was convicted See? in Florida, and he's, Florida. he got a plea deal. And he got some soft slap oh, on the wrist. Oh, okay. He did Thirteen right. months, and he was able to All right, leave his, yeah. be on his own for twelve hours a day for thirteen months. Oh, he didn't even it go was, to prison. It was a, wow. a slap on the wrist with a yeah. feather. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Leave prison, yeah. yeah. They gave him special Costa. treatment. Okay. Was it Acosta that was appointed uh, by by Trump? He resigned because he was the uh, because of it. Yep. He was like the head of the uh, 
Well, wasn't he if, the lead prosecutor or some such nonsense? Uh huh. That's right. Thank it you. it might seem like I'm trying to stick up for the guy, and all I'm trying to point out is way over here where I live. I don't hear much about any of this stuff. What I hear is usually just from the internet. I don't listen to news programs. Oh, that's all anybody. So hears, right. right. So the only daily news that I'll even bother to look at it comes off the internet. And some of this is not true, like the shootings, false flags. So not to say people aren't being shot. It's that right. the people that are shooting them are being re, uh, misrepresented at the end to misdirect people. Listen, yesterday I covered on my broadcast about how the government, the FBI and so forth, gets involved in creating these people and creating the crimes. So to say that if they're willing to set up a, a person to to do some terrible deed how far are they willing to go because you keep the real you don't want to know <laughs> you got to have the realism to hit the people in order to uh pro project the uh well, the the agenda right to to right. into their decisions of saying no gun uh, think that they would drug somebody and uh mind wash them into doing terrible uh -huh. Hey, you know what's been going on in Copenhagen this killed, week? Why are they being killed? And look at the uh, the rash numbers of late. I mean, that's it's we here at Real Liberty Media uh -oh. understand that the. Let me try putting that up a little. Closer. Hey, that's even better, Vinny. Yeah, uh, you're louder. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah. What's happening? We people here that listen at Real Liberty Media, we see how things work. They call us tin hatters or conspiracy theorists and so forth. But yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I want to tell you what's going on here this week, and you tell me what to make of it. Okay. Uh, in the last five days, right, sir, the building got blown up. The windows got blown out. Yeah. They had a – what kind of place was it? Uh, they had a, a bombing in a tax department building. On the anniversary of the bombing of a tax department building in Copenhagen. And then the other day, I think yesterday, they uh, found what? Oh, yesterday they blew up a police department thing, but they didn't hurt anyone blowing it up. So there's your, there's your crime. Now you tell me who's doing this shit. Be the cops and figure it out. Hmm. But hmm. still, nobody's hurt. So if these are terrorist activities, they're going out of their way to do them where nobody gets physically hurt in in the process of the act. That so, would be the ultimate form of terrorism to create uh, chaos against the, the powers that be, right? You don't want to kill somebody. You right. They just want the, the violence to scare people, is my opinion. Uh, but yeah, who's it's a, okay? It's repeated in in literature, I but mean, all of all Vinny, of this that we're talking about is not original. I mean, no, no, no. But I'm saying you live in one place and I live in another, and I just wanted to think hear what you would think would cause that kind of uh, action. You know, what's behind that? Different between you there and us here. Yeah, because you live in America where it's. There's so much every freaking day from 50 states. Over here, it's this little area I live in, in Copenhagen. Maybe once in a while, I'll see something about Jutland. It's not, I'm not un, un, uh, bombarded constantly with news. You're sheltered, Flash, okay? Exactly, that's what I mean. Is that way. Yeah. Listen, listen, just tuck your head under the pillows. Get it. Bite the pillow. <coughs> Goodness. Got all choked up, eh? Yes, he did. Moose girl. Yes. You were saying. Thanks, Vinny. You're welcome. I was saying, yes. Thanks. You're saying thanks. Yes, I was saying thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll say more things. <laughs> this is now I'm not saying anything. No, no, I'm talking Vinny. right now. All I, all I mean is, is that depending on where you live and how you live, you're going to hear that little bit of violence and it's going to ring up certain um, players that would that would do something like that. My first instinct was that sounds like the state. 
to do something that professional and that clean and nobody gets hurt or videotape doing it every well, it, freaking time it happens at home it's the damn system that sounds more like some uh, uh ira tactics okay but i can't go downtown without ending up on somebody's picture that they're taking of you know they're visiting in town i've seen tourists lately so i would just assume that there's the possibility i could end up on somebody's shot big you know maybe watch this movie it's called and, uh, well what i mean is with all these cameras everybody's got a fucking camera but all the important stuff well they got a shot of somebody here but uh yeah all the important stuff and yet i, I was talking about news, america sir experiencing technical difficulties with their video feed at the jail and so they have yeah. no evidence yeah. <laughs> see yeah well mm -hmm. here they do see it's so, so much smaller is the whole fucking thing wherever the population is huge then you, the, you got more social problems and copenhagen is four hundred thousand plus so yeah they're gonna have problems like this that's what cities do that's the point of the city if we don't have something to be afraid of or uh, to be an enemy of, what's the point in having a f fucking government? What do you need them idiots for? You need True. the protection. See, that's what I mean. Is all my life is we've been at war with somebody, America. So, phew, I was always on the bullying side of that coin. Didn't? It's never failed me. And I don't even Here's support it, but because I'm American, people that support America are prone to me because of that. Depending on the situation. There's your movie to watch. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Movie to watch. John Doe. I saw that. That's the Aussie film. You guys see that? Moose? What movie is that? John Doe Vigilante. I have not seen that. Uh-uh. I haven't it's seen that. Pretty, it's got a pretty good twist at the end. It's, it's a killer diller. Um, psychological. Try to figure out what's going on while you're watching it kind of film. And there's your answer to your question, your pondering, ponderance of uh, whether it be the state or the people. I don't know if it matters. It's just the idea that uh, I would think there's a difference. <laughs> violence is violence. Uh, I don't know. Who's responsible for it, really? Is that what fucking matters? It, I think it's that the conditioning of we the people of the world... We tolerate this shit instead of saying, you know, you can't act that way. That's grow up. Quit being stupid. No, we encourage fighting. We encourage gun ownership and all this other shit. That's really eh. hunting is hunting. Gun ownership. I, what the fuck? A, a, a well-regulated militia and all this nonsense that's outdated. You can't get t 10 people to agree on what time it is. But you're going to have a, a well-regulated militia. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, so. hunting is hunting, just like that movie that's the trailer that's going around about <laughs> liberals hunting deplorables. <laughs> Which one? Good you're Lord. a deplorable, I though, I right? I think all of this nonsense is out there as a distraction. And it's there to get people to constantly be looking, look over here, look over there, <laughs> yeah. look at the pretty birdie, you know, and, <laughs> and not notice that little knife that goes thump right in the middle of your back. <laughs> That's what I think it is. I agree with you. I don't disagree with that. I just try to make light of it and, uh, yeah, the best of it that, that you can make of what it is. You know, because you can make um, your your gardening thing could be living fucking hell, depending on how you approach it. Some people. Oh yeah. Yeah, and some people just know how to get out there and get dirty and roll with it. Like, like once I'm doing it, I'm cool. But it's getting me into that. Ah, I'm gonna get all dirty and my hands, you know, dirt under my fingernails and all that bothers me. My sunflowers are like nine feet tall. I think. <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> of course they are. You probably got I, better land fire. than the rest of us. We got flooded. Uh, our, no, I, our I, I, remember I built the little tire gardens. Yeah, but they, the, the rain, it flooded our crop this just today. Yeah, I heard. Eh, poor Cirque. She was bummed. 
they're probably still good. The water will drain and they'll keep on going. Just I hope so. Yeah, but it high. it's never done. Yeah. It's never flooded like that before the way it did. So we're we're you'll up in see. the air. You'll you'll see. It'll be fine. Anyway, so we're all glad Ber- that uh, what's his name Epstein's dead, but so they say. Well, right, but how does this stop the shit that he was supposedly involved with? It's still going to happen. They just change the players. Uh, you know, the guy in that seat will just move. So what? With the games going on, with with or without Epstein. Oh well, yeah, he was the sacrificial lamb, and he was he was low enough on the totem pole. That- that they didn't mind sacrificing him because they got bigger dogs that they're still trying to Well, to when, hide, but when so. you say it like that, I think of Kennedy. I mean, Bob, Bobby Kennedy and Robert, and they were high on the totem pole, and they still took those fuckers out without any regret. Didn't look back, just kept going forward. Well, they took them out probably because they went, you know what? We don't like the way this game is playing, so we're going to rearrange the go- the board just a wee bit yeah and, and do it just it to yeah. our favor and the proof is in the history because you got the verbal history that we all been taught and then you got what really happened and like you found out <laughs> wow what a shift huh i've been listening to your shows lately i'm telling you you have come to the decision your car with- seems to me that yeah. you've you've made up your mind for good you're not going back on anything you're standing up well this life has been one hell of a ride and, and over the last, and it's been weird. And Wayne and I were actually talking about it this morning, yeah. you know, weird dreams. And, and, and he asked me, so what's the deal with dreams anyway? And I said, it's basically your mind processing information that you have taken in over the last few days or the last few weeks or whatever. And it's trying to fit pieces into their proper place. And, man, I have had an awful lot of dreams where memories from childhood and stuff Mm. coming up. And when I wake up and I start looking back on them, it's like, oh, so that's when I'm okay. Mm. You know, so it's kind of it's kind of wild how um, I don't know. I'm just I'm to the point now where a lot of this external stuff like this Epstein thing I to me I don't know what the hell happened I was not there to see it right but I think this is all I haven't decided if it's a controlled opposition yet mm. or if it's some kind of op to keep him hidden and yet not hidden open at up the same time doorway. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's some kind of distraction. I haven't decided which it is yet, but it's not one of those things that's going to really weigh heavy on my mind. It's not. It's it's just it's another mm. move in their multi-dimensional chess game. As far yeah, as I'm to concerned, keep us distracted from the important shit. Here's a here's a book that I started listening to. This a little bit. Mm. It's not so far. It's not about zombies, but it one line in it. Called, that people would organize with pitchforks to go to their teachers for not having taught the actual truth of what is actually going on in the world. So it looks like it would be interesting. But, yeah, we, we don't get it all, you know. We but, get the, Vince, the, the truth about all these matters yeah. that matter that people don't care about, or it's out there, but it doesn't get any, uh, doesn't get any traffic. It's, it's been replaced with all this other stuff we do. Mostly so the Twitter and Facebook audio. shit. Uh, yeah, this is an audio book on YouTube. I understand that, oh, and I'm saying... Oh, you're, no, you're, I'm trying to say it so that it'll be in the here, heard in the record so somebody can look at yeah, it. Yeah, but your audience. your audience is very small there, Mr. None, audio book. Nonetheless, nonetheless, Plume is the mm. name of it on mm. the audio book on YouTube. It's called, it's called Plume. Yeah. You might be a, it's called Plume. You might be a zombie and other <laughs> bad... <laughs> I can audio. read, Vince. It's right there on my screen. <laughs> not for you. I'm not talking oh, to you. Oh, you're not talking to me. Yeah. Okay. Um, See you I'm next week, everybody. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not talking to you. I know. You the juice. Juice. I'm the juice, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The juice is here. I'm 
here to save all of you for me because Reed. I am the juice. I says, you might not be being heard. You know, what What I find really frustrating, Moose is going to love this topic. When you know, it really rocks my noodle, what, you guys really want to know, I'm going to tell you what it is. That, Wait a minute. Well, you sit sit down and light a smoke, boy. This is going to set I'm your, your, right your ears I'm are going to go. <coughs> I'm is, telling as we speak. I am completely baffled at the total <laughs> wow. control that Israel has over the United States. And that that control is supported by people that support the United States. They don't seem to get the dual citizenship thing is not something's wrong there, people. Did how many I, people? How many people listened to the bit shoot edition last last week? Uh, I don't know what of so what. They're not, here. they're not here right now in hmm. the chat room. Oh no no no! But I don't know. I I get about forty fifty something like that. Not too good. I don't because I don't promote it and do, do go out of my way to make everybody look at it. So we get a small audience. And our topics, well, sometimes people go, "Wow, that that's some weird shit, man." Because you know what I'm against, Vinny. What are you against? Everything. How long have we been talking? You don't know this. Uh, you know, uh, I was asked that question when I was what? beginning to do radio. What am I against? And mm. I said. More about what I'm for. Yeah. What am I against? I, well, there's no. I can voice Monsanto, you. GMOs, right. inoculations, right. police, you, right? Israel, all the fictions, pal. You I've been medical. Not being against me, right? Hmm. What do you think? Well, if you live your life and you're happy in your own life, it doesn't matter what I tell you because. It would just be bullshit you're being told. So happiness is a matter of uh, – it's a subjective thing to each each of us, I guess. Hey, Rob works yeah. says Epstein replacement is already operating, by the way. Oh, Epstein. see, I oh, – yeah. Because he was probably not just the only I mean, source for these uh, perfs to go to, right? He's one of many. Well, I, the average guy doesn't think of how boring being a billionaire must get after a period of time. When there's nothing to do except, you know, murder people and drink blood as a kick because you've never been that wealthy. So you don't think, oh, well, I thought I went, wow. How well, long do you think it take you to become a raving lunatic? If oh, know? about 10 minutes. Yeah. Mm. See, that's why whatever guides my life in its infinite wisdom it has kept me in great vast wealth separate because it wanted me to live. That's why I see it. And, uh, hey, God, I've got peers out there that didn't live to be 30. But I'm Any still here, you know. They're all gone in my past. And I outlived them and, and they told me I was crazy, the things I did. But they're, they're gone. <laughs> so, hmm... I don't know, Vinny. It's uh, life is just whatever you believe it is. Mary, do you have sunflowers about you? Uh, yeah. How yeah. tall? Are they tall, tall? Um, the ones out closer to the road that just basically get rain, those are only about four or five feet tall. The one, um, it's almost a sunflower bush. Uh, I think it's more of a like an ornamental, and when it does get the seeds, those will be sunflower seeds to make oil out of. But um, that one's probably about seven foot tall. Nice. But I also have some amaranth growing that's um, mm. oh seven foot tall. Wow! And you use the seeds then? Do you grind them up and make flour? Yes, All and right. it's amazing flour. Use that for baking like for making cookies and, and cakes and that kind of stuff. It adds kind of a nutty Wow, what flavor. a coincidence, Mary. i got to get you to send me some seeds when they You are. know who else loves that stuff? My, Who's that? My buddy Hank. Nice. Hey, Hank. Sweet. Hank loves the smell of whatever you were just talking about because he's trying to get up off his chair and come over here. Who's Hank? Hank Kissinger. They don't know. Did you get a? Oh, I hang out with yeah, Hank just, on the dork just, table. You just keep Hank to yourself. 
Okay. But uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Tank insist. is just freaking creepy. Wow. <laughs> Still, huh? You want some more of this? Really? Yeah? Yeah. Barry, you got to send me some seeds when you harvest. Okay. Wow. When you harvest. I will do that. I will do that. Awesome. So, being as you guys are all on the same bit of land, and and most of you don't fly, when are you going to have your first annual, uh, what would you call it? I guess your freakers ball. <laughs> <laughs> where where the RLM congregate? A freakers convention. Yeah, pretty much. We'll have it in Vegas. Yeah. Vegas. How could that be neutral to well, everybody? Wow. Where else? Where else? I told the farmer that once we got up to the farm and settled and everything, we need to have a shindig up there. So maybe we could do it up there. Yeah, but that is that property big enough for, to handle all the bodies? It looked big enough Well, the, me, the but, farmstead itself is 50 yeah. acres. Yeah. It, I, was I like said we have it Moriarty, New Mexico. Oh, Grimmy's house. We could do it there, too. Yeah. Go, but go Han, invade Grimm. Hans, yeah. Hans will never leave Grimm's <laughs> yeah. side if they if you do it there. So The enchanted land. You might want to rethink your strategy. Mm. Everybody mm. knows that you and Hans are the same character in here. Hey, don't give Quit away playing. my secret. Quit playing. Hansel is my illegitimate child. He's my he's my love child from a previous life. Mm, I'm happy for you. Oh yeah, you're welcome. I've grant given see my gift to all you ladies, Hansel. <laughs> Wow. Man. Yeah. Gift see why I got. Giving. Thanks. Loads. See why I got married. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, after my gift, I'll, I'll never. <laughs> that was a bad joke. I shouldn't have used that joke. See what yeah, you but... made me do, Cirque? Made me tell a wife <laughs> joke. It's all Cirque's fault. Oh, sure. <laughs> I should have seen her face. She's playing a game. She wasn't even Blame listening. Blame Circle. I did. <laughs> Why not? She didn't do anything. Might as well play. Well, you know, her. that's. That's pretty much the name of the game, isn't it? You know, somebody comes in and actually steps up to the plate and walks the talk and does the work, and mm. you got to blame them because they made you look bad. Damn it! Exactly. Well, hey, that's life. Uh, no, no. Well, Grimner, he. I got to read this out loud. It's been. He sent me on tilt. It says, Flash, just because we like talking on the internet doesn't mean we would like talking face to face. <laughs> Slap. Ouch. <laughs> huh? Yeah, fuck you too, Grimnir. Wow. Ouch. So, I see, but. I can take it because I'm not, you know, I'm not too ridiculous about all these word games because when it comes down to it, it Grum's the one that went out of his way to get my wire hooked up correctly so we could do a dork table. So if he wants to make a joke, he's got, you know, he's got it coming over anyone. Usually I just take shit from morons that don't have a leg to stand on. But Grimner, eh, fuck him. He wants to be funny. Let it be funny. <laughs> Right? I think he was kind of being serious. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're so mean, Vinny. Oh. You're gonna <laughs> give me. A, you're gonna make my self-esteem go down to 800. Stop it. Oh man. Mm. You, you know. You know what brings my self-esteem up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, wow. huge, a lot. Dude, it, what wow. does that? The internet. You know why? Why? Because people don't think about things that they type. They just type them. And you know how I know that? Because <laughs> that's what you do. That's exactly what I do. Most of the, <laughs> most of the time. I'm not, it's not like a like a, a blog I'm writing and I want to get to a certain point. No, it's a chat room and I'm just typing shit just to be involved. And whatever the, whatever way the, the chat goes, I just join in like, like a dog and a dog pile <laughs> it's almost it's almost embarrassing but this is my version of facebook is rlm because i don't i don't 
Twitter and I don't Facebook. So like wow. dogs licking. Well, licking. that's why I've only got 40 people that will catch the show that I do. But That will be nickname, licking dog. But you know what they say about quality versus quantity? Wow. So, ah. and I figure it like this. If, Does it yeah, have to right. do with how many licks it takes to, to get, get to, to the center of that fucking pop? You damn right it does. Licking dog. But I'm going to tell you a secret about life, Vinny. You ready for this? Are you sitting be, down? Yes, but I'll stand up. Okay. Did you know that I can pay somebody to count the licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? And Are get you going to pay, pay in pesos, sir? No, I'm just saying it. See, it can be done. It just can't be done by you <laughs> or me because I crunch them every time. But if somebody was paid to, believe me, they, they lit, lick that thing until they had their money. That's the way well, people are now. What are you talking about? I mean, how much are you going to pay? Doesn't matter. I'll do it. it if see, pay. there you go, you cheap. What a you. I want to be paid in pesos because it'll be so <laughs> Why don't you Why don't you move down to Mexico anyway? You do so much better. Well, can you get American government Man, money? I down can't there? live. Though. I, I don't get any. I get Social Security disability. That's it. I I couldn't live in Mexico cheaper than I live here. Right, but I guess. Like, well, I guess if you if you did it right, you could do it. But you'd have really? to live close to the border. Man, I'm where it's at. Dude. Keep an American address and then just go down and stay down the other border. I I think I'll live and die here where I'm at. Really? Yeah. Well, what happens it's if... the best place in the world to live. Well, what I ha- couldn't think of any place better. I'd rather live in this whole world. Duty could call. And then what? what well, then mm-hmm. I gotta go back to the road, yeah. Well, make up your mind. You can't do both, you big baby. Well, I can. I can do both. And can you? Sure. Wait a minute. Are you expressing your right to freedom? Because I don't know if we can allow this on the dork table at this time. <laughs> your right, to, your right I, to free speech is subject to my mood. <laughs> yeah, I got to figure it's not an if, but when they go for to round up the cattle out there. Uh, I was being the government, uh, Vinny, and you. Oh, that made me laugh. Thank you. I was thinking about mm. I was all happy and stuff. <laughs> And well, you got to go. Oh, what if it calls the duty calls and yep, the the poop duty. Yeah. What if shit gets serious again? What if the government collapses tomorrow and we wake up and we got no internet and we never talk to each other again? Then what? Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Life will go on. Are you sure, Miss Mary? Well, I know mine will. I don't know about anybody else's, but mine will. <laughs> Just like the rest of us. We live until we're dying. Well, and, and that's what I appreciate about my fellow dorks at the Dork Table Podcast. <laughs> Is you guys never tell me what I should believe or not believe. You just tell me, well, okay. <laughs> but you keep your judgments basically silent. No, I don't. No? Oh, okay. Me, absolutely, I do you not. Don't? Well, my, my judgments are always spoken like loud, I like or talk. What, what do you judge me about, there, Mister? Huh? Huh? Uh, huh? I, don't to, I don't have to judge you. I make my judgments known. You know, oh, I talk specifically. Uh, is that a, wait? But is that a judgment or an expectation? I certainly mm-hmm. say that my judgment of you has inflection. Uh, Goober's just now catching on to the suicide thing aspect of the epstein guy yeah goober just just watch the game unravel it you'll see 20 years from now you'll find out that whoever that was wasn't even epstein but the government government works in mysterious ways that you need to be protected from because it's for your own good (laughs) i mean don't you guys get tired of being treated like a child i i sure do I resent the fuck out of government. If they ever... Hey, what do you think of the government? I would tell them, go away, oh, I am busy, oh. You know, no interest. They will tell you, comply or die, and you'll do one of the two. Well, theoretically, yeah. See, 
I store, understand. I understand that. Theoretically, you it might, you might do both. You might comply and die. As <laughs> Ooh, uh, maybe you're complying. And die. Ooh. You know what? I had a good life, so I mean, if that's the the reason I ended up in Denmark at this age in life was to be murdered for my political beliefs. Well, there's something to be remembered in history for. Hey, why don't you try wearing a, one of them German swastika armbands? You know, because I'm not a Nazi. Why? why see what happens. Why? That's well, okay. Yeah, why, why don't you set your butt hair on fire and put it out in gasoline? I mean, just do it. Just do it. I mean, that's what okay, you're telling me. You, I, listen, I might not survive my my. Act. We're gonna have to see if you survive yours first. Well, I'm gonna pretty much guess that the uh, Danes down at the bar, from what I've they heard wouldn't. them speak about shit like that, they wouldn't be too crazy about me wearing a swastika around them. They would look at you and ask, or what? Uh, I don't. We're trying to compare between right, but see, they know me, so it would be kind of weird for me to just come out of nowhere doing something stupid like that. Okay, but, okay. Uh, now listen, listen. Grow hmm. you a hit mustache and start with that <laughs> <laughs> my american advisor Vinny, <laughs> get me freaking killed out here in denmark in 10 days i thought it was safe Jeez, it is if you don't run around that. acting the fucking fool like some kind of american idiot that would ruin everything okay let's try this i think you could probably get by with this one first initial test do a goose step dance in the bar I don't even know what that means. Look it up. It's on the internet. Don't tell me what to do. Look it up. And, oh, who do you think you are? Doing your impression of Hansel. <laughs> nah, back down there, slave boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what am I Googling now? Uh, Some kind of dancing shit? Two step. No, I'm not going to do that. You're not. Oh, here, I got a story for you. Last week. Did I be scared? No, no, but it's just, this is how, you know, how my life just is weird, even to me sometimes. So last Saturday afternoon, uh, so time, yeah, I went today, I went last Saturday. So I'm down there at the at the bar, and uh, two o- older women, 40-ish, ish, come in together. And then the first thing they say to me out loud is, uh, they hear me in, order my beer in English so they know to speak English. They go, could we braid your hair? And I said, oh, my wife would not like that very much. No, thank you. I appreciate it. It's nice of you to say that, but nope. And that kind of killed the afternoon. But <laughs> yeah, that they were sitting there drinking shots, and the longer they were there, the more fucked up they got. So I saved myself a lot of trouble in the long run. Because I had a dork table to do that afternoon, so being out in the in the public and having something like that weird happen and out of nowhere, <laughs> it was funny. Are you saying then that uh, Cirque's like a Filipino wife? I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, don't don't get them jealous. They'll cut things off. Oh not, no, no, it may not be your ponytail, buddy. That, but the point is, I don't wear a ponytail. So if I came home yeah, from the bar, listen. If I came from home from the fucking bar in the middle of the afternoon with my hair braided, I don't let people touch my fucking hair. So what? What the fuck? How, are you insane? See, just the, the very nature of the whole thing just goes against the way I behave. So it's not like I, I wouldn't have been for that no matter what. It was just weird. Huh? No, it's just a weird thing to be to hear somebody say in a bar in 2019 in Denmark. <laughs> Did they say it in English? Yeah, and then they were speaking English. How well, they say it? well, they were flirting with the owner because the owner was talking with me, and then they came in, so you know they know who he is, so they wanted to chat him up. And when they realized me and Karsten were buddies, then they started with the hair. They asked him, I guess, in Danish, who is this? But I wasn't there to, you know, to play with the other children. I was just there to have a 
quiet beer in the middle of the damn day. <laughs> and like, what kind of beer do you drink? Just they- the two Borg, just the mildest um, lager they got in a bottle. I think they it's a lager. lager. I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. Would I'm, you drink American beer? American beer? That sucks. Huh? No, it's horrible, man. Don't no. Once you drink this kind of stuff long enough. Yeah, I I drank yeah. my first German beer, and it was like, man, mm-hmm. other stuff. I know where they get the Budweiser from in a bucket beneath the Clydesdale. Yeah, but all the countries got their own special brew, Circle or their box. own special <laughs> alcohol, or something. German got it. What? What do you got? Get what? Yeah, you and your ponytail, mister. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Cirque would never do anything like that. It was just uh-huh. me. I'm just not a hands-on kind of person, period. I, I'm very uh, hmm. Hmm. standoffish, I think, physically. With all that hugging shit. Hmm. Yeah, if I don't know you very well, back. no, don't do that. The Hans and the non hansy approach, the, the personalities that be missed. Somebody. Yeah, I'm I'm like the cat. I'm standoffish. I'll be over there in the corner by you know where it's safe, where you humans can't fuck with me. <laughs> no. See, and I thought maybe you were like the cat. As in, uh, excuse me, there's poop in the box. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I could be that way too. I, I thought she was the cat, as in like uh, flash somebody or. Uh, f- what, how does that saying go? As fast as a cat will lick his ass? <laughs> it's something like that. Yeah, that's flash. Thank flash. you. No. Oh, Wait. Without flash. the licking my ass part, though. <laughs> you so Jeez. fast, nobody saw you do it. <laughs> He's I'm busier not... than a cat covering up shit. Oh, Damn. thanks. Now, get, come on, Mo- is Moose gone? No. Oh. I guess Moose. I'm, I'm here. Oh, there. You're, how come you're not? throwing your weight around here come on speak up you guys are doing fine well so what <laughs> interrupt somebody and say something pointless god damn it this is the <laughs> dark table the okay, fuck's wrong with you pointless. people now they're putting out there that epstein was Mossad. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah by the end of the week he'll be El- he'll be a dead elvis impersonator don't worry about it you just watch the game unfold before you it doesn't matter what the story is. It just matters that you get told a story. Uh, do you, yeah. Do you, I right. think, it's okay. the tone of voice with which you state it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, like those the things where they show you the news people all saying the same fucking thing in 24 different cities. Damn near word for word. You know, like the, the content will be repetitive from one city to the next instead of each city having their own story they're all telling the same story from one state to the other Hmm. yeah well well i don't live like that here and i know they've got uh public tv and cable and all that shit and i know a lot of people in the neighborhood they have it see pass by their house they got the tvs on so they watch it but I don't know about the influence TV has over here compared to where I'm from. Because, man, that fucking box. I saw the moon landing on TV. It happened. It's called television programming for a reason. And inside that word television, it's tell lie vision. Hmm. (laughs) Tell a lie to your vision. (laughs) Be live, what you see. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, well. They've got video of somebody that's involved in this bombing, carrying a box, a bag of something around, and wearing a hoodie and all this. But they got the camera, picked him up. So, you know, when we have stuff go on in, in the States, how come the footage is always missing? No matter where the where the the crime happens, there's never any video. And what video there is, it's like accepted by certain people for you to see. It's not just what there is. Boom! Here, here's the news. It's this is what we want you to to see. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, of course, we're on RLM, so we all agree with that. But hey. 
There's people on RLM that don't agree with me. You know that. You know who they are, too. I don't have to name anybody. <laughs> and you know what? What? I don't care. Well, no. <laughs> that's... It's not... Well, for the most part, it's not worth bringing up on the radio, but it's kind of amusing. I have the sickest sense of humor. And I'm telling you, if I didn't have that kind of opposition, I would think that people aren't paying attention to what I actually say. They are getting angry, and they tell me off. Boy, do they call me, oh, Miss Mary, they call me terrible names. I think. They do. I, well, I don't know. You want to hear the latest name I get <laughs> called? It, I don't um, even know if it's a bad name. Here, I'll tell you what it, it is. Stick? And I don't know. But I'll tell you what I get called, and you tell me if I'm being insulted. Okay? Okay. Ready? Ready? I get uh-huh. called a gaslighter. A gaslighter. Mm-hmm. Well, a gaslighter. Gee, that could be all kinds of things. You could be the guy that goes around and lights the little street lights. You know those gas lights. <laughs> or you could be the guy that's standing there going, hold my beer, watch this, and lighten your ass as you fart. <laughs> or <laughs> there's just so many options, Flash. I I really don't know if that's a bad thing. I don't want to know who called you that, but... I used that word in the chat room a while back. So I'm just wondering if it's a little bit of parroting going on. Oh, well, I don't know, but I get accused can't of this. Come up with this stuff on their own, so they got to take I, other people's stuff. I, I don't know? I don't know, but I get accused of this gaslighting yeah. concept. And I don't <laughs> and I'm telling you the truth. I don't really know what it is. I get the point because I'm logical, it, but I've yet to look a description up to prove it means any certain thing. I'm using gas common lighting sense. someone if you go with the the accepted definition is basically um, doing things to people to kind of control their perspective or mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. and then when they start reacting like that mm-hmm. or you know it's like, like trying person. to make someone look crazy uh, to others they push your buttons oh yeah. so you react to that then they say oh see you you're the crazy one Mm. Yeah, you know, messing. it's like stabbing you in the back and then bitching right. because you bled on them. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, you know, the truth of the whole thing is, is I re- it's really just kind of a sense of entertainment, but it does kind of annoy me in a, in a sense because I'm such a wonderful guy. How come people don't, how come everybody doesn't just love me? <laughs> I'm so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Flasher, they love you. It's just some of those ways that they love you are not ways that you really experience firsthand. Hey, I, I was so homely as a child that this Epstein guy never even molested me. I mean, think about it. I grew up in L.A. Huh? Where were all those adults molesting children? They never molested me. Oh, well, man. I feel well, horrible. I, I'm just, can you imagine being that? Rejected in life. <laughs> uh, Grimmy did the Grimmy did the definition for gaslighting: <laughs> form of intimidation or psychological abuse, sometimes called ambient abuse, mm. where false information is presented to the victim, making them doubt their own memory. Wow, I yeah. must be really good then. Perception and quite often their sanity. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. I like like I get in your head like Hannibal Lecter and I rearrange all your ideas. No, because I changed the locks. You can't get in there anymore. Well, okay. <laughs> Somebody's being a victim of my gaslighting thing. Let me have my moment. Okay, it's not um, you, little missy. I'll find a victim. Give me a minute. <laughs> well, I'll just make sure that circles <laughs> give you a good 20 feet you know, safety zone so that when you decide to light your gas. Well, no, it's the idea that uh, my opinions come out of me as this is the way I see it. But the way that they're heard by some people is this is what you need to see. Whoa, I don't really, you know what? The farthest thing from my consciousness at this moment in time is what anybody else sees. I'm, I'm see, doing that's it. The, <laughs> that's the weird thing that most people just plain, and I didn't get it for the longest time. So I'm, I'm not putting anybody down because 
Yeah. I'm not I'm either. I'm just well. talking about it's, a situation. You, know, you can control what you say and how you say it, but you have absolutely zero control as to how someone else will take it. <laughs> exactly. I know. I know. But uh, some of some of my fans, they they use my name to get my attention, so I'll read the insult. No, it's for me. <laughs> and I can't say that I don't ask for some of it. But not all of it. But the gaslighting thing, that gives me a lot of power. I didn't know how important I am. Yes, it I, does. Man, I'm gonna it start does. I'm gonna change my name to Flashlight. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> you know, gaslight. Flashlight. Mm -hmm. There yeah. The yeah. connection is made. See? Now whenever you hear the word flash, you'll think of me. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. maybe you won't. I okay. Don't, I don't know. No, when I look at a flashlight and it doesn't work, then I go, that's a flash. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what. You know what? I would appreciate if I'm doing this mind control scammy kind of thing on people. Just saying I do the act is one thing, but why don't you identify the act in print so I can really understand what it is I'm gaslighting? Cause so you voice can in, truly enjoy it, correct? Voice, in my opinion, is my right as a living carbon life base, you know, carbon based life form. Everybody can do it. Why can't I do it? How come when I do it, it's gaslight? Nah, that's not nice. Be nice to me. <laughs> well, that's when you just look at someone and say, "Project much." Or wait a minute. Or I'm so I'm like Oz. Huh? Huh? I'm like the all-powerful fucking Oz over here, and whatever I say, whatever I type, is so on the fucking spot and on the money that it makes people go, hey, fuck you. <laughs> that's power. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's You're what, messing with their cognitive dissonance. I see how you are. And that's what Trump lives for is that almighty fuck you. It's a nice thing to be able to look somebody else in the face and tell them, no. Why, fuck you. <laughs> we all try to do it in our own little ways. Some people survive it. Yeah, some people do. Well, because, Mary, I was leaning that way, is the opposition always takes it out on us financially. And, and the part is, if you don't fight, it fucks them up even worse than if you did fight. Because <laughs> then... Not only did they fuck up the relationship that they were in, but they got stuck doing all the fucking cleaning up all by their self. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nobody to gonna help you because this is what you wanted. And when you know when people get along like that and it's normal, then there's your problem. So this is just too <sighs> unbelievable. It's like um, that that link I just posted. What? They have a Twitter uh, link on there. There's a Twitter copy of a Twitter feed. How does someone in maximum security prison who'd already attempted suicide <laughs> actually commit suicide? Uh, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> Sorry, Moose. I'm not laughing at, at you. I'm laughing because, right, it doesn't make any sense. Well, you know, they're, they are really honestly hoping that people are stupid enough to swallow. And right. Sorry. What no, is their this, goal? I'm not buying this. Okay, no. what what do this you see? But Moose, what, how do you take what they're doing? What are they trying to get you to behave? You know, what are they I trying to get you to, to think? Who knows, dude? It's got to be a goal to, to it. People. All right, so this guy's dead, so now they can't prosecute anybody because he died. So there's no there's nobody to put on the. I think they're going after that Maxwell chick. I don't know. Actually, with Good him dying, check, yeah. it does make it opens up the door for them to be able to prosecute an awful lot of other people that can't call into question any search warrants in um, hmm. when they found all of the evidence in Epstein's home. So, it if you look at it from that standpoint, it really is a very smart move. Whether he's dead or not, I don't think he's dead, but. It's a smart move on their part oh, because, yeah. damn, look at this. If we did do something to where Epstein's lawyer could say, oh, man, this has got to be thrown out because this and this and this wasn't right on the search warrants or whatever, 
now that is pretty much null and void. Yep. Nobody else can say, excuse me, I call foul. So now it's fair game. So it's a, it's a smart move on that. And actually just faking his death is a smart move right. in that aspect. Yep. So I don't know. I, and, you know, it keeps him for later. And, and if he does turn up dead, you know, like Jimmy Hoffa somewhere down the road, then it's like, well, we told you he died. Right. So, can't kill a person twice, no. so they say. <laughs> Double Jeopardy. I saw that movie. I, I too. I'm filling in for Goober tonight. I'll be the movie critic. <laughs> kill. Kill. Uh, I, I can see a lot of different angles on this, and people putting all of this stuff on Twitter, and it's like, oh, yeah, hey, hadn't thought of that one. <laughs> oh, wow. That's kind of interesting little spin on it. So it's to me this is this is almost a little exercise on some may think it's an exercise in futility. I think it's actually quite good getting people to do a little bit of critical thinking and a little bit of analytical thinking and go calling out some bullshit. And even if it has to be something moronic like this, well, okay, someone's gonna say, You're calling someone suicide moronic. Okay, uh, please, uh, seriously. Uh, this guy was in a federal prison uh, on suicide watch. Yeah. And yet he's for somehow able to suicide charges. himself. Yeah. It's well, moronic. And yes. yet, you know, it's getting people to actually use that gray matter in between their ears for something other than keeping their head inflated. I've got another idea what it could be, Mary. What's that? That could be the Fed showing, flexing its muscles, showing the people, ah, we can do whatever we fucking want and you can't stop us. And it could very well be that, but I just think it's amusing that I just seen um, Barr's statement and, yeah, the FBI is supposedly investigating it. Yeah, that's like putting the fox in charge of investigating why the eggs are missing in right. the house. Wow. They investigate See, themselves. Yeah. Right. But it's not believable. It's not believable when they do that. You guys yeah. are supposed to. Uh, I mean, I would believe Graham Z. If they, if they appointed Graham Z to do the investigation, <laughs> yeah. I would believe that. The end. Yeah. Or Vinny. They're investigating themselves. Or you. How can you believe them? Wait a minute. You can't. And I would say, or Vinny, or you. Or anybody. Any of us. Yeah, anybody. Well, okay. Well, the, yeah, I, I would when say... When they investigate themselves, hmm. what good does that do? Well, that it, does no good. It let, no, sure it they're does. They're not going to out themselves. They're not going to say, not. oh, crap. Uh, oh, they're not, they're not going to come clean. Well, I mean... That's the I point. Don't, I don't understand how people can trust anything. That comes out of any politician's mouth, or any government official's mouth, or any cop's mouth, or any mayor's mouth, or any judge's mouth. <laughs> How can you trust these fucking liars? <laughs> How can you do it? What How makes... can you, in your right mind, how can you trust these fucking liars? Well, what I, makes I you think it's a matter of trust? That, that one, that's the part that I get, like, really fucking, like, really? You know what I mean? Like, why would you trust them? Well, when you know they're lying to you. Who's who's all these people that trust them? Uh, free and slave. Yeah, uh, and there's one. <laughs> that's yeah. actually one don't even, not even talking about the chat. It there's doesn't even matter who it is. Right, right, not anyone in the chat. I'm not singling anybody out. I, you know, I shouldn't have said that. But. Uh-oh. There's an awful lot of people wandering around in this world that they they believe that someone else should have authority over their decisions. Yes, and I'm sorry, but I'm wow. a big girl. I wear big girl panties. Mm. And what was that meme I saw the other day when the big big girl panties just ain't good enough? You got to pull up them granny panties. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave all of my granny panties, and I don't need <laughs> nobody to be an authority over me. Right. Wow. You, you, know, babysitter. you know who you sound like to me, Miss Mary? What's that? My wife. Circle. <laughs> wow. I mean, she's not against her her uh, people or any of that, but she doesn't support her government. But she loves her people and the tribe and all that kind of stuff. I can see that. I recognize it because I watch, you know, I watch her behave through my eyes. And it's yeah. kind of, it's, mm -hmm. it's a whole different thing over here. 
different than Scotland was different in its own way. This place is different in another, another way. There's a like a hmm, it, like it's got a soft side to it still. When people drop things, somebody will tell you, hey, you dropped that. Oh, today at the grocery, uh, I left an item behind. I had didn't put it in my bag. And as soon as I tried to walk away, two people are, oh, you, you left this. Instead of keeping it and put it you know, in their shit, they gave it back to me. So there's that, See, that honesty thing. That's, yeah. that's as it should be. Right, that's normal. That's the normal I live in, in in this little town. Yeah. But you know what's really sad is I know people that, hell, I did it myself. I, I was a politician for a while there mm-hmm. on city council. Mm-hmm. And, and it's funny how someone can, by all appearances, seem like a decent individual until they get into a position of, quote, unquote, authority. And then something changes. Hmm. Something changes yep. in them, and they yep. they start getting full of their self. Control freaky. Well, yeah. yeah, your ego would have to to fill fill the job. You'd have to have a huge ego. Why would you be there if you didn't think everything that you did was perfect? Why would you be sitting in that seat? So that's that. You know, that's the impression you're supposed to give off, isn't it? See, and and. I don't think that because I when I when I went on city council, it was pretty much, you know, I am tired of all of these people just representing those that go to the country club because that's pretty much what was going on in town. If you're a member of the country club, then the decisions were always based on what was beneficial for you. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. so when I got on there and not that I necessarily swayed a lot of shit, but I sure as hell was mouthy. I know that shocks you. But I was mouthy, and I spoke mm. my mind. And there was a lot of times where I actually spoke my mind often enough and loud enough to where I did get things kind of sort of swayed. But it, it was just basically one of those things of, of little common sense here, people. Seriously? Yeah, you want to spend how much money on this? Yeah. And how many people will actually benefit <laughs> from that? Oh Well, come on. There's oh. Mathematically, there's going to be those times where you win. But when yeah. you're fighting a dragon like government, you can't. You either play the way it tells you or you lose and leave it. Well, and I just, I after one term, I had lots of people tell me, you need to run again. You need to mm. run again. It's like bullshit. Yeah. Well, okay, look, look what these people did with Ron Paul. He, he Even his kid grew, grew up to be a dipshit. But Ron Paul, for the most part, what I've seen of his you know, public behavior in the quotes. He's got a, a pretty sound way to look at the world. And they kept him on as like a, a like an ugly girlfriend on the side that he, they could hide from everybody to throw the balance off because he, yeah, he, he was, was the, the token. Yeah. Yeah. Cause whatever. they knew he would never pull people from the Republican party or the Democrat party to join his party. But he would pick up people that really wouldn't support the, the red or the blue any fucking way. So he picked up all the shit people that the RNC and the DNC didn't want in the first place. And he was, at the time I read this, he had been in Congress for 22 years. And in 22 years had written one bill that got a vote. Everything else he wrote never hit the floor. Nobody wanted to hear about it. And what that tells me, but he kept getting re-elected, re-selected, whatever. However you play this game, this guy's part in it was to be that third wheel to keep the balance off so they could pretend that it's red against blue. And it's so perfectly matched, this third party is just going to tip the scale just enough to prove it. Because you'll have so many red and so many blue and the rest of them for for this Ron Paul guy. But he never did anything that got voted on. So, well, one, one bill. And I don't even know what the bill was. Yeah. All right. Well, it didn't stop him from voicing his opinion and it didn't get him killed. Why not? Of all, and he's, so far, he's been the only one that's come out with any show of honesty uh, regarding a public political thing 
like global warming. Something to See, that. And that's that where height. I think you have to have that little bit of controlled opposition. And they may not have controlled Ron Paul, but they most definitely controlled the results of all of his actions and the way the information was getting out. So it was a controlled opposition kind of thing. You got you got to have something to fight against in order to hmm. further something. And so they have to let at least one or two out there. Why yeah. else do you think they let us keep being on the freaking radio? Cause, oh, because it doesn't matter. In the overall scheme, this is going to tilt anything. In the not overall even, scheme yeah, of things, bit. they think they got it nailed. And, you know, if it comforts them to think that way, yeah. Well, they do have a captive audience at the moment, and they haven't. Yes. See, when they start um, having purpose shortages, having them on purpose, they're already writing about they're going to do it or that they are doing it. So the threat of it is out there, on, you know, in ink on the Internet. So you can physically see the words. And whether it's true or not doesn't matter. What matters is that you see the threat in writing and then your brain takes it in a certain way and it gets you to believe certain shit. And that's mm -hmm. how collective crap works. Is if enough of us believe it, it's true. Whether it's true or not yeah. has nothing to do right. with what we believe. So, hmm, decipher that mess. <laughs> yeah, repeat a lie off enough and okay. it becomes... His story, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah. Okay. I've heard that too. But I, you know, it's trying to be original, but it's really hard to be original in this world today. Wow, everything's been done. And it, pretty much now we're just doing reruns. Yeah. But I like my reruns. The comfort of knowing uh, what's happening in your your immediate future isn't so bad i was more like afraid of that in life i didn't want mundane and routine i wanted hey what's over that hill so i did that for a lot a lot of years now hmm, now i'm just like sitting in my living room with my wife yakking to you guys on the radio on a saturday evening yeah or a Saturday morning slash early afternoon for yeah, me. Yeah, it's like going from from 80 to 30 miles an hour. You know, just, whoa. <laughs> My skin is still warm from slowing down, you know, the friction. <laughs> and, yeah, and then, uh, well, the quiet life, still, I it's still Cirque. So it's quiet-ish, you know, it's not... See, there's my dog. Let you know, she, dog wants to let off a little steam and let us know everything's good. So she barks at us. Hey, it's all right. <laughs> bark, bark, bark. Yeah, That's the way my, I interpret it. I don't know. Maybe not. My two do that as well. You know, somebody drives by or something like that. Or if I'm watching something on Netflix and and someone on the TV like happens to knock on the door, man, they're both just up and barking like crazy. Because <laughs> oh. they just know somebody's at the door. Dork table alert out there to Anti. Well, send Anti some of that good vibration jazz that me and Rob talk about. Vinny and Moose Girl and Grimner and Mary. And, you know, just put your brain in that direction and move forward. We all know what's going on. Yep. Well, I, I didn't know what it was appropriate to say, so just wanted to let him know that we know. Because secrets, yeah. they, you know what they say? Like, well, my mom and my grandmother were big on old sayings when I was young. Too bad I didn't listen. Because <laughs> they were always telling me shit that, as I've aged, would happen. And, you know, they were like cliches. And it went, wow, how do you fucking people do that, damn Jews? These fucking Jews are dangerous, I'm telling you. Yeah, you do eat that. They dude. can read the future, you know. They can. You didn't know that? Well, they write the future, so of course they can tell you what the future is going to be. They own the fucking future. And I really am disappointed that I come from a country that's second best to Israel. How embarrassing. Fuck. Give me a break. 
you know yeah yeah i mean if the if the public was aware of what i'm aware of my own homeland if ordinary regular people that i encountered knew my history as well as i did i dodged being american at all cost i wouldn't want anybody to know and i'd tell them i was canadian because I wouldn't want to talk about it. That's how seriously fucked up I think the country I come from is. Today. Horrible. Occupiers, invaders, take land, and just claim it. That's wrong. It's against all the fucking rules that they, they built the place on. Were just it, it was just a performance. Dog and Pony showed it to be land grabbers. Own people. Just... The reverse of instead of I own you and you you know I'll feed you and and if you don't work I'll whip you or whatever. Now it's well you'll do this work and I'll give you this little bit of money to survive on that you got to give back to me to survive. So as long as society doesn't see that that fucking game is flawed, <laughs> so fucking flawed and it's out of control. We're just getting robbed of all of our time and. As collective, nobody complains about that part of it. They just whine about they don't like Trump or they don't like Pelosi or they don't like Hill Dog or whatever. But to come out and say this game needs to stop and we need to just stop it, that's the fear part. Everybody's afraid, well, then what? Nothing. If you ended that freaking government shit, all the crap that it's supposedly paying for would end. So there you go. There's no reality to it. It's just a matter of playing a game a certain way. Did I lose everybody on this show? No, we're just listening. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I got kind of ranty. Oh, go ahead. My dog wants to bark. But, I mean, well, I mean, how do you feel? Do you ever feel like that uh, on a political level that you're being held hostage by Israel because of religious crap? Not no. for anything true. But only, you don't feel that way. Okay, I do. No. I have to first think that they actually have control. Okay, uh, all right. Before. Well, I was being... Oh, come on, Mary. I, I was... You were putting a, a hypothetical out there. Because we're, we're talking know. on the radio. I wasn't being <laughs> personal. I, I know you're way beyond all that shit. I got, I got clear on that long ago with you. <coughs> Excuse me. I was just trying to find something to talk about that would be maybe interesting if you so you know told your side. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. Hmm. There's an awful and and I actually had someone point this out to me years ago and it really didn't click until the last couple of years. That, hmm. You know what's happening over there or even across the street. Hmm has absolutely zero to do with you until it gets right in your face. It has no control over you unless it's right there in your face. Because, yeah. you know, if if you're not actually physically dealing with... That's what my argument is completely right there. If it's not in your room that you're in, then it's an illusion. It's not truly there. It's just an idea. It's something that you think. It's not something real. A piece of paper with writing on it is not real. It's representing something else, that is. <sighs> yeah. The well, translation. it's representing something else that they want you to think is. What I read, is this is true or not, that at points in history, it was against the law for the poor people to be taught to read. I don't know if that's yeah. true or not, but this is what folklore has taught me. According according to the stories that we have been told, yeah. It makes sense because the difference in hearing a story and in reading a story is incredibly different. They are two different worlds. And when you read it and it's in print and the document's all, you know, done in a certain way and it's very impressive, it it gets your mind in a different kind of a attraction, I think. It it is a form of spell casting, yes. Yeah. Well, and especially yeah. if you like read it aloud, then you are reinforcing it cuz yeah. Right, yep. cuz I think so we're not much different than animals in this respect, okay? We we start out not being able to speak or walk or anything and we develop and we start 
trying to, and we learn to do it in our own way. And uh, dogs, they don't, uh, they don't go out of their way to learn anything. You have to go to the dog to convince the dog you want to, it to do something for you. You know, with treats and bribery and shit like that. And I think that that's pretty much how my father taught me how to read. Bribery and games to, and to keep me interested when I was really, really little. Because when you're young, you don't have a lot of attention span. Let me throw it in a different loop. Hmm. What about when you're actually part or in the story? Oh, yeah. Well, then, okay. What have you written and told about? Now, my personal opinion about this and i as reading on it and, and i'll use the thing about liberty valance the the um, was like what do you call it uh, movie. the legend of liberty valance i think it was jimmy uh-huh. stewart and john wayne and at the yeah. end of the film they come to the decision well if the story is better than the truth you tell the story and that is how we are and the truth is never freaking halfway near as interesting as the story you tell about the, what happened. The story is always way better than what you did. Did you hear that yeah. my broadcast yesterday? I right now I think I listened to you live. Yeah. But what did you say that you want me to remember? I mean, well, what? The, the story that Leah Satelli. Uh, oh me. yeah, where you had her reading. Um, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. She was. Uh, what is that like some kind of witness thing? Or, uh... well, she's a she's a uh, a reporter, um, independent freelance. So she's written a story, Bundyville, and this is season two now. But in season two, you know, by the end of the uh, second chapter, she's there at the uh, Vegas uh, airport and getting, or or was it in Salt Lake? Anyway, she's ready to fly and she's going through all the Homeland Security checkouts and realizes this place this world where we've come to and earlier she tells about how the fbi gets these low-hanging fruit picking these uh these people that are vulnerable to manipulation and then spend umpteen thousands of dollars uh to create crime and so she's (laughs) right now and and being able to recognize that so this is what we hope that would come Mm. uh, from from the news right yeah exposed the, the uh, what's terrible and true. Wow, what's terrible and true is being a part of a group that's this big and being fucked over by so few of them. You know, it's not like uh, I'm getting, my life is in, it's interrupted by the masses. My life is interrupted by the few that sit in power. Those pricks are out to fuck all of us. And I try to go, hey, did you know this? And people laugh. Ah, you're a funny guy. They don't do that. And here I am. And according to you guys, well, like fluoride in the water being bad for us. Do you, you realize there's just as much text proving the exact opposite that it's good for you. They'll lie to you on the Internet. They'll lie to you to your face. They'll lie to you on paper. Doesn't matter. So... Hmm. Where does average Joe find a balance point to seek a truth in a world full of shit like the one we're in, man? They got us from every possible angle. And no matter what you complain about, you end up sounding crazy. <laughs> but only because the the masses believe the propaganda that goes along with the story. And then there's us, whatever we are. <laughs> We don't seem to uh, play the game correctly, my friends. Well, maybe we just don't play the game. Oh, you have to play the game. There's no way to live. Unless you live in a, on a mountaintop, you know, fighting bears for toilet paper, you're in the game. That's the whole point. They got us locked. There is nothing but this fucking game. You can't have uh, the necessary things a human being needs to survive are sold to us by greedy fucking slobs that uh, want to make life as miserable as possible. Because they're if they're capable of selling us the shit that we buy now, then they're, they're capable of selling us good shit that's not shitty. But they don't want to. They want to keep making money. It's all about profit. 
I need some profit. I don't have enough profit. I'm going to be a profit. <laughs> Never mind. You're going to be a profit? <laughs> well, my Jewy Jew side says uh, there's an 87% chance I'll make a profit. <laughs> ah. I, I the ring. <laughs> Uh, well, see, I don't know. People can take the thing, how I speak about the Jewish thing, however they like. But I come from a Jew, whatever crap. And, you know, it, it just, it does kind of change the uh, the way that your life goes. If I had been born somebody else, my life would have been different. Don't you get it? <laughs> That's applicable to anybody. But they don't know that. They don't realize we're still as different as we all are. We're the same fucking thing. You're the same fucking thing as I am. You're just an, a different expression of that thing. And it's been analyzed and categorized and regulated and ruled over to the point of it's now just a disgusting ball of shit that nobody wants to be bothered with anymore. You know, life. It's not fun anymore. For everybody. It, it, at one point it was. Everybody got along. It was great. And then the years rolled by and we got this. <laughs> this steaming ball of fucking shit to deal with every day. And mm, yeah, someone needs to scoop the litter box. Yeah, Yeah. I've well, seen, it I mean, wears on some people's nerves. Complaining. Are you really complaining about life? Is it that bad? Mine is. No. I'm saying that I life? read. I read that on the internet about how bad things are in other places where I don't go. And and if it's on the interwebs, it must be true. I don't know. I even ask you guys, if you know, I see something that happened where you're at it. Hey, did this happen? <laughs> I don't How's know who to trust. Girl? Are you getting that job lined out? Oh. I said, how's things with you? All right. Hanging in there. You getting it lined out for another job? I'm working on it. Yeah. Makes you know. life a rough there. Definitely a rough patch. Uh. What do you want to do? Uh, just whatever hmm. <laughs> at this point. Well, well, whenever I'd find myself in trouble financially when I was young, I would create work out of stuff. And one idea I had, I, I didn't have the idea. I, one idea I took when I was, uh, I was like 18. So this is a real old story. It goes back to the 1970s, right? Yeah. So I'm living in Crescent City. And uh, I got sick, lost the job I had, so I had to replace it, and I had to come up with money in a hurry. So I called the newspaper, and I had an ad put in the newspaper that wrote that read, "Young, a hardworking young man will do anything legal for cash." And I put my <laughs> phone number in there, okay. and yeah, I got enough money in a period of time to pay off what I needed to cover after well, I got sick. What did you do. I know people would call me up with odd jobs they needed done at their homes, older people mostly. And one of them was they had a hill that needed to be mowed, but they didn't have anybody physically on the property that could physically do the job. So mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I'll do it. And they paid me to do it. How much and did they pay? I don't remember any. This is 1977 or something. I don't know. But the, the point is, it what, I was creative with you know, whatever – there was available. I used it to get me where I needed to go. And there wasn't a job, you know, like an employment office, a really small town. So I got creative and just used the newspaper at the time. And because it was such a small place, I figured a lot of people would read that particular paper, and they did. Yeah. And one guy needed his, the underneath, he had this crawl space underneath, underneath his house. And he needed it widened because he'd gotten bigger over his years, and he wasn't big he was too big to get into it so he had a really horrible job but i did it for him yeah. it was young 18 no underneath the house in the dirt he wanted the underneath passageway from this underneath the house cleared so he so could, he, could he could get through it yeah but he was too old to do the digging he would just wanted to be able to get through underneath the house for some reason whatever it was well, down there like a cellar or just a crawl space? no it was just like the house underneath the house it was uh oh it was horrible <laughs> was it like a basement house kind of thing no it, it no it was the weird weirdest foundation i'd ever seen but 
back in you know back in seventies in Northern California, building permits were different too. So you could do things on your own property that the government doesn't have to always be there to, to correct you about. So you could build things differently. Hmm. I still I still don't get a picture in my mind what a what's under that house. <laughs> it, dirt and plumbing lines, but where Why he would wanted he the, like a crawl space or something. He want yeah. yeah under, Why would he want to go under there if he? I never to, asked the guy. He wanted a job <laughs> done, Vinny. What am I going to argue about? No, I can't do that for you, man. I, are you he stupid? Hires, he hires you to go build it where to he wide. No, I was widening. In oh. the future, that might have to go under there to do something. <laughs> yeah, he was too big to get himself under there. He might wanted me to widen it for him, so I did for a price. So you never, never even thought. Why would he even want to go? No, under here? why? Do you? I needed work, not freaking lessons on fucking spelling papers. You have told him, sir. I appreciate your work of uh, offer of work, but uh, why do you need to go under there? What business would that be of mine? Wow, you grew up a nosy little fucker, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, Listen, I, is I, is anything in somebody else's personal business that if they want you to know, they'll tell you? Well, I've got gone to do a, <laughs> to, okay, on what's you, wrong with a, a <laughs> set of books and then people, uh, you know, at the company, somebody might try to sell them all kinds of stuff. With, uh, mm. uh, or Italian cypress with spider mites. I said, look, all Italian cypress have spider mites. It's okay unless they really get, to, you know, causing serious damage. I guess. I was hitting my pipe, so... I have no opinion about spider mites, but you knew you know what at time it is, don't you? Oh no, wait, we started late today, right? So well, we, yeah, we got twenty minutes left. You've got twenty minutes left, sir. I do. You don't. Oh, are you ditching me on the dark I, table? I've been waiting for the yeah, the top of the hour. Now, now you're like, we got to do more. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Well, oh, you are my yeah. hostage. I know. Slap Vinny, will you? Somebody slap me. Twice. He likes it. Uh-huh. And Vinny would Are be... you like a broken TV, Vinny? <laughs> Is that why you need to be smacked? Oh, yeah. Focus. Focus. Your reception is just not quite what it should be. Wow. Bonk. Wow. Vinny. Are you, are you going to take a... Are you going to take a licking and keep on ticking? Yep. That job don't exist. Just let him keep tumbling. Take what? the token. Keep on smoking. I don't know. Wow. Wow. Wait, how do you give somebody oxygen an hour after their jail suicide? Oh, a suicide attempt, maybe. Wait a minute. I told you. See, this, all this misdirection crap, it works. You know, false flags and deep state and medium state and light state. Oh. Breathe them so we stomped on his chest until Trump. Yeah. Trump state, but how, what are you guys going to do when the Fed just takes you the fuck over and makes you do all their, what they tell you to do? You don't got a choice. You got to go, oh, Mr. Fed, please don't hurt me. I'm still dancing and romancing even, oh, I ain't got a peso, even when they say so, not to. <laughs> <coughs> wow. Well, sorry, guys. I wonder what I'm going to do. Have you ever danced hmm. beneath? With the devil beneath the pale blue uh, moonlight. Mm, no. Was I supposed to? It's never come to mind. I mean, I know I don't remember the last time I woke up and went, "Hey, you know what I think I'm going to do today?" <laughs> Ever howled at the moon? Mm, wow, not once, Vinny. What? Really? <laughs> what have you been smoking, pal? Come on, what? What? It what? Was pe- hmm? It was not peyote. <laughs> Apparently not. Anyway. He's not going to tell you because cause then you would be jealous and, and he just doesn't want to do that to you. Oh, is that no. it? Boy, somebody else uses that word on the R- Ireland semi-regularly. I don't know. I, I don't know. Am I, am I a jealousy kind of person, sir? Well, you know, it is a popular yeah. word. Well, yeah, but I think my wife would be a good judge of my jealousiness. 
You know, because there's uh, being unfamiliar with something and then there's being jealous. There's two very different things. Some things in life must be investigated with your optical, you know, observation skills. And some things you just take them for granted. And you got to trust what to do with what. And I take that to government and state, and religion, education, take it to all of it the same way. So I learned, for me, if I can't touch it with my own two hands, I don't give a fuck. I think it was Archie Bunker. Well, I might have stole it from Archie. I come from that generation. Alice. No, what's your name? <laughs> Edith. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Ah, she she was funny though, and there was an original version they did in two years before it went to TV, that they did called uh, what was that called? Meet the something. It's uh, I'll 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 bring it up on the our, on the YouTube and and I'll I'll post it here in a few minutes when I get done yakking through it. But uh, they did they changed Edith. She started out as one kind of character, and they turned her into a like a a different character uh, Big hold, on. hold on i'll pull it up here you yak about something Benny. i'll pull this thing up on youtube and post it for you i enjoyed edith oh yeah no shit so did cirque i i introduced cirque did i introduce you to all in the family yeah she says yeah so, I, because I, I had to show her, because I thought Archie Bunker is just like the funniest fucking guy. You know, Cirque is like Dingbat. You know, because, <laughs> well, <laughs> if you don't know what she's talking about, it doesn't make sense. But if you know what she's talking about, then it takes another life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then you have that Acme light bulb moment. Right, and the the character, but they started her out more serious, uh, and they turned her into this giddy, giggly character. But the first one, I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna post this on the RLM for you, if you have a chance. It's like 35 minutes. But. Do you think that maybe the backstory would be why she her personality is is because maybe art? Oh, the palm was starting. Huh. <laughs> Oh, the powwow starting. The what? Oh. The powwow. Powwow. Mm -hmm. Where? I don't know. Welcome to in Ohio. Oh well, I'm not in Ohio. I was like, "What is that song?" Because uh, the video started. I... Wow, I'm in Denmark though. I'm not uh, even no, near Ohio. We're gonna powwow. Come on. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna miss it. Indian word, right? Still, yeah, I've been yeah. here for a long time, but uh, oh. I'm just a, I got a few heroes in Archie Bunker. If you're going to have a hero, you might as well make him Archie. Because he was wrong about everything. All like the time. <laughs> and he treated everybody like shit. And he thought he was so fucking wonderful. And, <laughs> and way down deep down inside, he was. But on his outside, he was just a nasty old prick. Do you identify somehow with Archie Bunker? Oh, fuck yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, sure, because, you know, you would be Meathead. If I was Archie, you would be Meathead, because <laughs> you think, yeah, you think you're going to get an education and you're going to learn something, and, hey, we need to eat, and so I'm Archie in that, because you're... Who was the, in the Archie uh, comic book, too, wasn't there? <laughs> Archie comic book. Is that a moose? What was that character? We gotta, I don't we're know. Gonna bring the two together. I, Arch, oh, I'll make you're gonna Arch. you're gonna make a shit sandwich, huh? No way. <laughs> we got Moose Girl. Mm -hmm. I'm me, Ed. Mm -hmm. You're Archie. Well, let me see. Did I post? Yeah, I posted that. Anyway, so any the the point I was trying to make yeah, is Grammy. Wait, she could be Veronica. Oh, you're Veronica. going off. I don't know. Vinny's what lost are you talking it. About? Archie Comics. We yeah we oh, we comic. lost oh. Vinny. They're fixing Archie Comics and Archie Bunker. Oh I see. <laughs> okay. Oh I don't want to be Veronica. Right, who do you I'm want? Like Neither do Walker. I. Hey I want out of this. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Vinny you play all the parts by yourself. I'll sit over here and watch. All but, right so it's 
in this series, the opening series, we all gang up and kill Archie and put him in the basement. Wow. Yeah, but do you remember the episode where Edith was on the jury? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, no. it was pretty good. Well, the point of the story was they had somebody on the jury holding out, and it looked like the murder was so obvious and that they had one holdout that couldn't be convinced to say guilty, and it was Edith. And she holds out, and then they catch the guy that really did it, and the kid was not guilty, so she was right. There you go. Well, because... It What's the moral would, of this story? Uh, it, a woman like Edith would... It would take somebody like that to do it. And that's the kind of character she was. Qualification, sir. Somebody really honest with everything in every area. Uh, you know, at Bruce Doucette's trial, I had uh, one juror particularly look at me with, like, saying... Um, you know, I know, but there's nothing I can do. Sure. Oh, yeah. Sure, I get it. Yeah, absolutely. But, hey, you know, and then that's your impression, too. So other people could accuse you of other shit. Well, I read the uh, I read the, the body language. Uh, I, that's the one I was looking for, Jughead. Ah, uh, Vinny's Jughead says Grimner. Grimner's <laughs> playing along with you. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, Who's Grimner? We got to put him in there. Uh, Maybe he'll know. be the new Archie since we had to kill you off in the uh, preseason. Oh, or you should just <laughs> upgrade to something else. Oh, did no. I get killed off We're again? not really oh, going to kill man. you. We're just going to oh. put you in the basement. That way we can bring you back like a soap opera moment. Oh, cool. oh like yeah. J.R. Ewing. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I tell Cirque all the time, you know, I keep her in a basement mentally. So. All you got to do is just put flowers down there once in a while. So that's where I'll be. <laughs> oh, jeez. I just joined Cirque in her mental basement. I thought it was flowers in the attic, not in the basement. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't have an attic, do we? Well, oh, uh, we do? Yeah, we do. But we got all Well, that stuff. explains the bats. No, no we... longer in the belfry. <laughs> <laughs> no, she says, yeah, there's an attic here. Well, I guess... I haven't been up. I've only been down. So, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's that's somewhere I do not even want to go. Uh, I figured you'd say that when I said it. I didn't really <laughs> didn't think it through clearly. It was one of those blurps. I've heard you blurp on your show. Don't, you know, don't act all crazy here on the dork table. <laughs> but it's it's good that you guys Hey, see? But that's what this was for. It's like, this isn't for folks that need, you know, uh, stroking and, you know, pills. <laughs> you know, shot of vodka to face the steering wheel. No. If you got mental problems, you're not going to come here to the dark table. You're going go, no, to go to Fox News and CNN. <laughs> and get your dose of truth <laughs> about, mm -hmm. about the government. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The deep state. <laughs> How Trump's going to fight the deep state for you. <laughs> $22 trillion. <laughs> oh, cripes. $22 trillion. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he added another trillion. He's abominating you like only Trump can do. You guys, come on. You got to see that, right? <laughs> Oh, that whole twenty-two trillion shit is all make-believe anyway. Just Maybe to get so. us to keep paying in. You yeah. do it well. Hey, let me ask. Do it. What do you think well. people are gonna be? You know, the big name politicians gonna be saying about Epstein. You know, the Clintons. Will they have a statement? Will Trump have anything to say? Who are you asking? I, I don't. Well, know. Attorney General Barr has already released a statement. Uh, what did he say? Hmm. Oh, cripes! I shared it in the chat. Well, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Damn it! I don't know. <laughs> but he was not happy. He he was unhappy that something about how this could happen under suicide watch and yada, yada, yada. And he wasn't just going to go with the FBI investigation. He was going to have another investigation. So they're going to have another federal agency investigate a federal agency to investigate <laughs> how something happened while someone was in federal custody. Cycle joke, anyone? So what you're what you're saying is that people are going to be dead, right? 
Wow. Well, it happens every day. People Darn. die every day. Some some of them just die in rather suspicious manners. Well, who said uh, the EMTs? Do what? Who sets up the EMPs? EMTs, yeah, the people that. Uh, oh well, yeah, I think I think yeah, I'm thinking those people will, yeah, they will have an accident. More than likely, some kind of they're all out on the same crew on a call out, and then the ambulance mysteriously explodes, or you know something weird like that. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. That's right. Yeah, and I'll probably go to jail for that because I had inside knowledge. Really? You're a conspirator. Oh no. Yes, I. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's not good. No. Oh. <laughs> And, you know, I can think of stuff like that, and I am small pittance compared to these douches. And I really shouldn't even call them douches, because douches supposedly had some kind of benefit to them. Ouch! <laughs> well, that can't be. Oh, my goodness. I know. And, I said that out loud. Wow, you dirty girl. I swear. I know. What's with you? I know. You come on the dork table and you always go all dirty girl on us. It it must be me and Vinny's charm. Vinny, what do you think? Apparently are so. we are we just charming like that? We bring Bobby. the best out of everybody. Bobby. 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 <laughs> you guys just have a way of dragging it out of people. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Make it sound so violent. <laughs> Damn. I was kicking and screaming, yeah, yeah. right. Uh huh. Yeah, well. I told you a long time ago that clutch between my brain and my mouth got burned out years ago. So yeah. Yeah, well, well, you know, people are resourceful little critters when they're young. I once read about a nine-year-old and a six-year-old committing an act of violence with a gun because neither one of them was strong enough to hold the damn thing and fire it, but the two of them together did. What'd they do? The nine-year-old got the best of the, holding the damn gun, and the, and the six-year-old pulled the trigger. <laughs> oh, geez. So the two between the two of them, they had the, the strength to handle the gun, so it didn't, you know, fuck them both. Little kids. Now, this is years ago, okay? And we all know that, well, we all know, one, people exaggerate, and, you know, tell stories and such, but sometimes the stories that you hear just make sense. And I could see getting in trouble with my little brother doing something stupid like that at a, at a very young age. You know, because you're exploring and you're learning shit. Well, so, you hope to think that the parent would have had enough sense to teach your kids about a gun. Well, apparently, in the, that kid's case, n not. But my, my parents kept their weapons away from us being a, uh, where we could get to them. So that was a, you know, yeah. But my dad had a, he always had a couple of handguns, but no rifles. But it could, yeah, he was a crazy fucker, though. Eh. Guns don't solve anything, man. You people got the whole thing fucking backwards. Guns just solve a lot of problems. No, they don't. They, what, 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 they create what, problems. What huh? if you did? If everybody didn't have a gun. Well, it wouldn't matter. Then they'd shoot. Then they'd hit you with a stick. What the fuck? Stab you with a blade. It's not the gun that's the problem. It, Are you in favor of outlawing gun? No, I'm in favor of arming every fucking body the same and just letting life take you where it goes. So you're a socialist? I don't know. I guess. You can call it whatever you like. Where, where are you going to get all these guns to give to everybody? I don't give a fuck. See, that's the are whole you gonna point. Take them you to give to the Here we go. You're, you, I just say give them, point, sir? give them to everybody then. Hey, I just had an epiphany. The yeah. most dangerous weapon in the world is someone's mind. So maybe that's why they're doing all this mind control. Yeah, someone's words are definitely, definitely dangerous. Damn. Well, not necessarily even words, just what you think up. Well, some let's, people act on it, some people don't. Let's yeah, use that's, Trump. That's why they got all these neurotoxins so that they can mold our minds. But look, at, they got Trump twittering like a 15 year old girl running the country. But I mean, do you read I, it to, to me? No, but this is all to me. This is all cheapened the whole 
point of a POTUS. In, in the way I grew up, the POTUS would address the public as needed. Not address the public fucking daily about every time he had a bowel movement. I'm so bored of the over uh, uh, exposure of Trump. He, it's too much. He's worse than Obama. You say that we ought to make a law again? It. No, I, I say you ought to find a better way. But the public, the public is too ignorant to understand. They don't need this. What would they got? They need to stop all that and and start over. But the that batter, the that gr- must that gear shifting doesn't make sense to average Joe. That can't be done. Well, yeah, it can. It's going to be better than what they're pushing. Uh, like a world a world strike. <laughs> Turn this whole thing around in 48 hours. Don't make the millionaire his breakfast. What? Make it make that guy make his own breakfast. But I'll lose my job. So, what if nobody will work for this fucking guy? <laughs> See? But there's so many people that sell out that you know, have good excuses and good reason because you got to survive. I but must grow. I'll it's... pull up the schedule. Please. Hey. What? The schedule. The schedule. Oh, he's going to read the schedule. But it's still, yep. when we do it, it's it still. It basically comes down to the monetary system is totally screwed and it's yeah. monetized everything, including your time. Ah. See, you say it so much better than I do. That's why I invite you here. <laughs> Because that way, you know, you're like verbal toothpaste for the radio. Because you can always help me get out of the hole I dug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are insulted by the way I say things. You know, because I don't, I don't necessarily think I'm cl- through clearly. I'm just, you know, this is the way I feel about certain stuff. Blah. And it go, and the listener goes, "Wow, you got that all over my shirt." <laughs> So, wow, you were listening too close. <laughs> Directional spewage. <laughs> Who's right, uh, though, right? We're, we're in this world of fucking illusion, Mary, and we all believe it's real. How do you... <laughs> eh, it's a paradox. You can't explain it, but you can't not explain it. There's ways to explain shit, but they're all bullshit. And the truth makes everybody shake their head and laugh at you. <laughs> Well, and see, to that, i got to revert to the old Buckminster Fuller. You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Well, there you go. So, You're you know never going to be reality, obsolete. Start building one that makes it obsolete. And if other people see it and they like it, and then they start emulating it, then mm. the, even that will add to the power or the the build of that, and eventually, if it works for enough people, the old reality will become obsolete. Hmm. You know, I think I see everybody as an individual then, because, you know, no matter what name I call you, because I call Vinny a butt nugget all the time, but I, I'm just, bleh, you know, I'm being a garbage mouth. But there's other people I call names, and, and I sometimes wonder if I really mean it or not, because... Just because we don't agree about this crap, why so serious? <laughs> so, but it's easier to do that on the radio. <laughs> True. Cause okay, so is Moosey going to do the schedule for I me? Don't, I don't. If she'd like to. Would you like to do the I schedule can. for us? Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, tomorrow we Thanks, have... Thanks, everybody! Sunday Blues with Grimnir and the Trivia going on in the chat. Fast finger fun. And then after, <laughs> after that, it's Hal Anthony behind the woodshed from noon o'clock Pacific. So what time is that Eastern time? 3 o'clock. 3 p.m. 3 p.m. All right. Okay. And then on Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time is Grim Leftovers with Grimner. The Ocelli effect is on at 8 p.m., 8 to 9, Monday through Friday. On Tuesday at 2 a.m. is In a Perfect World with Flash and Vinny. Although I don't think Vinny wants to stay up. <laughs> do you? 
Uh, <laughs> I'll be snoozing. Right. Yeah. And then on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern, of course, is Grammy's Rocket Chair. Who's leaving us and fleeing? Yeah. When's your last show, Grammy? Uh, the 30th of August. No. Oh. Okay. I think I'll be at the wagon races. And then Thursday at 2 o'clock Eastern is 20% off the of Flash. That's me. That's him. <laughs> That's Thursday, yeah. <laughs> wow. And then on Friday, it's a Ponder Gander with Vin mm. at 1 Eastern. On hiatus at times. Oh, on hiatus. <laughs> oh, wow. It's curious. summer. And Friday, again, yeah. is Grammy's Rocket Chair at 7 30th of this month. The Ocelli effect, and then at 10 p.m. Eastern, or actually 11 p.m. Eastern, is the Freakers Ball with wow. and me. Oh yes. And then of course we're back to Saturday, which is the Dork Table at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Oh, no, well, that was that very good. Lisa. That was new Eastern you. time. We said we're, we're seven a, hours. Somebody put a leash on Graham so she can't get away. Yeah. <laughs> It's 420 somewhere, y'all. Thanks I for just put mine out, yeah. Anyway, thanks yeah. uh, for playing along with me this week, Moose and Mary yeah, and Vinny. Thanks, hey, guys. anytime you guys want to play on the dork table, come on by. All so, right. Well, well, thank you. It was fun. Uh, I always try. Fun. I try to try to do that. Over.